Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We're back for the Lions franchise. And last episode, we started out 1-0. And, oh, and this one isn't going to get any easier. We're going up against Trevor Lawrence, who is now the number three rated quarterback in the NFL with the Vikings. And they're stacked at running back. You see Dalvin Cook is still there. Sony Michelle as well. And man, at receiver, it gets it's pretty good. I mean, they did replace Adam Thielen, maybe with Chase Christensen, who we, we were looking at in the draft. But they still do have Jose Kelly, who they drafted in the first round after season one. And then still Stephon Diggs is there as well. So we start this game out on defense in a 7-0 hole. Here is Trevor Lawrence. Throw out to the left side. He's got his tight end, and that is going to be caught, but holding on the offense, so this one is going to come back. So now they get it to a second and long this time. Tyler, uh, Trevor Lawrence, under center this time, play action fake. Got and this time he's going to go down. That is Chris Harris, Jr., who we did re-sign after a year of not having him. Remember, we traded for him in season four, did not have him for season five. We have him back. So now on the next play, here's a throw out to the left side, and that is going to be caught, but illegal touching. So now that's going to move the field goal back to the 35-yard line for the field goal, and that is going to be short. So we will take back over here in the second quarter. So here is Kerry Reedy getting the handoff, starting us off, and you know he's got that big play ability, and we probably could have been gone on that one if we wouldn't have got too close to the sideline. That is a big gain of about 20-something, and it's a first down. So now at the 35, this time Justin Fields is going to go down by Ture, and he's going to lose a few yards, bringing it to a third and 15 at about the 40 throw, and that is caught by Keon Knight, who we are expecting to be one of the best receivers that we'll ever have. We'll see. I, I am looking forward to developing him. Speaking of development, we am we are looking forward to developing developing our running back too, Kerry Reedy, who we traded for in the offseason. He is a superstar trait. Just remember that as we develop him. So here's Justin Fields on a third and goal. He's going to scramble in. That is a touchdown for Fields. And we tie this game up at seven apiece as Fields can do it all. Remember, he's got the 88 speed. As we do keep the score knotted at seven apiece as we get the ball towards the end of the first half. Here's Kerry Reedy, another big run to the left side. And he has got wheels, 71 yards rushing here in the first half. So we're going to give it right back to him. This time he finds a little crease finally following his blocks. But this time he gets shaken up for a five-yard gain. He's going to have to come out. And in comes Travis Etienne. So now a minute left here in the first half. Throw across the middle. That is Etienne out of the backfield. And he gets a catch already. And it's a first down. So second and nine now at the 40-yard line. This time Fields throws deep to the left side. And it is going to be knocked away from Keon Knight. Anthony Barr on the coverage as they get it to a third and nine now. 30 seconds left here in the first half. We can't get away. It's a sack as the Vikings do call a timeout, and that's how this one goes into half. So now to start the second half. Let's see if we can come out with a victory here at home to start out NFC North play. Here is a throw, and there's Keon Knight, and he gets open a lot of room on that one. He's got speed. If he gets the ball in open field, just watch out. He's, he might just take it to the house almost every single time. So first and 10. Here's a deep shot. There he is once again. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage with the safety, and it's going to be knocked out of the hands. I wish that was thrown a little bit to the right. Just let him that way, but instead it's knocked away. So third and 10 this time. Dump off pass. This time Fields throws it short to Marlon Yarbrough, and he can't get up field for the first down, but he gets it to the 46, so... I think I'm going to be aggressive here. Go for it. Fourth and four. They do rush four up the middle, but here is Fields. A big hole to the outside. That's a first down. Nobody's there in quarterback contained, and it ends up being the detriment to the Vikings defense. So at the 39, here's a handoff this time. Kerry Reedy back in the game. He gets hit hard and coughs it up, and 73 Phillips picks it up, and we turn the ball over Reedy, his first fumble as a Lion but luckily they do not score on that following drive. 
So here we are, back on an offense. Here's the handoff this time. That's Reedy. He gets about a loss of two on that one. And now they bring it to a third and 12. The Vikings defense has been playing pretty good, and they get past Kerry Reedy in uh, pass protection. And that's going to be the second sack by Daniil Hunter. As now we move it into the later parts of the third quarter. Another opportunity on offense. Here's a throw across the middle. Keon Knight can't hold on to that one in traffic. But it's going to be a holding call on the offense. So it's going to bring it to a second and 23. Handoff. Kerry Reedy this time. Another big hole. But he can't get around the outside. As he's been stuck between 70 and 80 yards rushing for about two quarters now. So here's a throw across the middle on a third and long, and that was an ill-advised throw, picked off. They sent the pressure, we just got rid of it. Marlon Yarbrough could not create any separation. And now Minnesota takes back over after the turnover. So here is Trevor Lawrence back out onto the field, this time throwing the ball to left side to their leading receiver Richardson through one game. And he picks up a first down as Ali Gray goes down with an injury. So now they get it to a third and 14. Throw across the middle. That is going to be caught by Jose Kelly. And it's a first down. He is 80-something overall. He is superstar Dev as well. And he is going to be one of the bright futures for the Vikings. The throw to the left side on a second and 10. That is knocked away. Jelani Tavai in coverage. So third and 10. A questionable play call this time. And then it almost works. They run it on a stretch play on a third and 10. And it's stopped by Lowell. And we will get them to settle for three points. So now there's five minutes left here in the game. We have a, at least a chance to tie this game up. Here is Travis Etienne in the game. And he can't get a gain of anything on that carry. So third and 12. Here's a throw to the right side. And it's going to be picked off. Marlon Yarbrough cannot create any separation again. And it's picked off by Holton Hill for his second interception of the game. These receivers have got to get open on those timing routes. So here comes Minnesota back out onto the field at the 24-yard line. Here's a throw out to left side on a third and four, and that is going to be another stop. So we at least get them to settle for some field goals at the end of this fourth quarter. And let's see. Now we're down by six. We've got to get into the end zone on this drive. So per first pass out to the right side. It's going to be Keon Knight, who's got a lot of room, and he has been busy in this one, and he gets the first down. So first and 10 at the 43 this time. Throwing to Travis Etienne on the arrow route. He is going to make a move. And he gets upfield for about a gain of 14 yards and another first down. So we do have all three timeouts left. Here with a minute and a half left in this game. And there is Justin Fields. He's just going to throw that one away. And smart throw on that one as we bring it to a third and nine. This time Fields. He's going to throw to the right. And it's picked off again. The third interception of this game. And wow, Minnesota takes back over with a chance to seal this game up. But they do have to get a first down here. So they ran on first down, didn't get any yards. Second down, handoff. And that's a gain of about eight yards. As now that brings it to a third and three. We can come up with a stop and get the ball back. Cook up the middle and he does get tackled. So Trey Flowers makes the tackle. And we're back down by six points, 34 seconds left. No timeouts. So we take back over at the 48-yard line. This time, Justin Fields has some time. He's going to unload and throw it deep to Keon Knight, and it's going to be picked off by Newton, the fourth interception of the game. Take a look at Monte Newton. He goes up with one hand and comes down with it and seals this game up for the Vikings. Justin Fields has his worst game as a pro. Kerry Reedy had 93 yards, but he was shaken up a little bit in that game. I guess we'll have to see how he feels. And then Keon Knight led our team in receptions and yards 87. This was probably one of our worst passing games of this entire series as we get the loss here. It was only by six points, too. I mean, not even... We, I mean, it, I guess if it's it's encouraging that we only lost by six and we threw four interceptions. I mean, I guess that's a win, maybe. I don't know. So now Kerry Reedy has an upgrade, but we have worse news. He's out for five weeks with an abdominal tear. So that means that Travis Etienne is going to have to play a big role. But we have more news. 
Sean Chapman, our defensive tackle who we extended with a two-year contract last season, is now out for 16 weeks. That is incredible. So what I'm going to do is just turn down the injuries. I do have it at 51. If you see my sliders here, I am using Matt 10s. I know you guys ask me literally all the time. I'm using Matt 10 sliders from Operation Sports. I am not veering away from them. They are excellent. If you want to try some good sliders, try Matt 10s. So going into next game, I had a scenario here with Keon Knight. Now, he has an opportunity to get an upgrade, and I believe he is normal dev. So if we get two touchdowns with him or 100-plus yards of offense, he will get an upgrade to star development. So in this game, I'm really going to take advantage of that. I'm going to kind of get him the ball and see what I can do with him in space. And I got to use that speed. Maybe the short routes just getting him yards will help in this one. So we are taking on Jacksonville, and... They are also a one-in-one -one team. Here's a throw across the middle that time. It is Keon Knight. He gets the first catch of the game. Gain of 17, and it's a first down. So now second and three this time. Fields throws to the left side. It's Knight again, and that is a first down. He's got 28 of those yards already. So first and 10 at the 43. Here's a handoff. This time Travis Etienne gets upfield, and he will get about a gain of 10 yards. And remember, he's going to have to have some big shoes to fill He's done it before. We did start him during his rookie season. And really, we kind of gave him the spotlight over Carrion Johnson at the time because Carrion was hurt quite a bit. And remember, in the playoffs last year, Carrion kind of showed us what he can do. So here is Fields this time, scrambling out to the right side. He will throw on the run. That is TJ Hawkinson who gets open. And there we go. Nice first drive here, moving the ball down the field. And it's a first down. So at the 12, here's a handoff to the left side. This time, Kennedy Brooks in the game. He swerves. That's a touchdown. And here we go. 7-0 here in this game. That's a, that's a nice way to bounce back from that loss as we are going to play all offense pretty much in this game because, like I said, I want to get that scenario and get uh, our receiver, rookie receiver, Keon Knight, the upgrade. So we will play all offense in this one. So we do get it to the 49-yard line after that scramble. Here's a handoff. This time, Kennedy Brooks, another big hole. He gets upfield. Gain of 11 yards for him. It's a first down. We are looking good so far. So first and 10 from the shotgun here. Here's a throw out to the right side. It's going to be Galladay who's got it. And he sticks there in the middle of the field. Gain of nine as we bring it to a second in inches. Here's a handoff. Travis Etienne up the middle. And we are moving the ball well inside the 20 now. It's a first down. So as this first quarter does wind down, here is Justin Fields scrambling out to the right side. He has a man there open. He will get it to him. That's Josh Oliver. And he will get inside the five and get helped out with a penalty flag on the face mask. And on the next play, throw to the end zone. That is caught. And look who it is. It's Keon Knight. So he's just about at 50 yards receiving. He needs one more touchdown for that upgrade. We're going to keep track of that one in this game. So here is on a first and 10. Here's a throw out to the right side. There he is, Keon Knight. He gets upfield, and there we go. That's about 90 yards right there, and that's a first down, a big one. You see the speed. That's why he has so much potential. I mean, this guy could be a game changer for us. So here inside a field goal range, Hawkinson getting open again, and that is a first down. So after a couple of penalties, we actually get it to a third and 28 after picking up that first down. But here's Fields getting a lot of the yards back. He scrambles up the middle, and he slides down at the 16, and we do settle for the field goal. But you can see Jacksonville is still keeping in this game. So here's a deep shot over the middle, and that one is caught by Keon Knight. And I'm pretty sure that one does put him over 100 yards receiving, and it gets us in the field goal range and sets us up before halftime. And now we take the 20 to 10 lead as we move on to the second half. But Jacksonville just won't go away. Here is Fields with the throw to the left side as Jacksonville brings it to within four points. And now Galladay's hurt. We just turned down the injuries and we're still getting guys hurt on like pretty much every play. So here is a throw out to the left side. This time Hawkinson, he will fight forward. He's got about 10 on that one. 
and a first down, bringing it to a first and 10 at the 22. So now here is Fields now from the shotgun, throw to the right side, and it's gonna be picked off. Keon Knight was open, but he just did not turn around for it. That's an interception by Cohen. And wow, I can't tell if that was Keon Knight's fault or that was a bad throw. I'm thinking it was Knight's fault though. He just didn't turn around and look for the ball. And look at this, now Jacksonville has the lead. So now it's 26 to 20. Now we have to crawl back in this game. Once again, down by six points in the fourth quarter. So here is Fields, throw across the middle. That time it's Tylen Wallace who gets open. And now we're at about the 21 yard line with about a minute left here in this game. Here's ETN out of the backfield. He's got it for about six yards. He used to drop those passes all the time. I'm glad he can catch now. So second and three. Now we're officially under a minute. Throw across the middle. It's Keon Knight. He's got it. And we move the chains on that one as now it's goal to go here from the 11-yard line. Throw to the end zone. It's Keon, and he can't hold on to it. And now that brings it to a third and goal. 27 seconds left. Here is Fields this time. Clean pocket. But now the rush is starting to get to him. He's going to scramble out to the right side. He's just going to throw it up, and it's going to be picked off. That was a terrible throw, I gotta admit. I know you guys are probably gonna rip me for that one. That was a bad throw. The third interception for Cohen, and we end up losing. So we lose our second straight here to start the season. We're one and two, but Keon Knight does go over 100 yards, so if there's a silver lining in that loss at all, it's Keon Knight gets the dev upgrade. As you see here, he is now a star development trait. And now he gets 20,000 XP. Wow, that's amazing. That's a lot of XP. <laughs> so we will just upgrade him. And really, I mean, he gets six upgrades. That is a whole lot. So we are just going to move through this and just upgrade everything. Let's just make him well-rounded. And just looking at the finished result here, he does go up to 80 overall now. And we know he's a star development Look at this, 95 speed to go along with 84 medium route running, 79 deep, 78 short, catching traffic, 81. I mean, he looks solid. So I can't leave this episode without trying to get a win. So we will try one last time. We are going up against Seattle before facing the Vikings once again. So we will need to beat the Vikings in order to kind of subdue their fast start. They are off to a 3-0 start, but this game is tough. It's in the rain, on the road, versus the 12th man. So here we are facing the Russell Wilson-led Seattle Seahawks on the road. Let's see if we can get a victory in this one. Here's a handoff this time to the left side. Kennedy Brooks has a lot of room to the left, and he will pick up a gain of 11 yards on that one and a first down. So now first and 10 at about the 21-yard line. Here's a throw across the middle. That's going to be caught. That is Marlon Yarbrough. And we pick up nine yards on that one, bringing it to a second and one from the 12-yard line. This time a handoff. Brooks will fight forward as this is a tough environment to play in. The Seattle Seahawks defense is always good. And remember, they already have a ring in this franchise. They won it in season one. Here's a throw to the end zone. It's going to be who else? Keon Knight, the rookie. And he will pick up the touchdown and tie this game up at seven apiece. Seems like Keon Knight just finds a way to get open, but here we are back on defense. Russell Wilson is a tough out. Here's a throw deep, and he's got his favorite target. That is Tyler Lockett. He gets inside the 10 on that throw. So first and goal to go. Two and a half minutes left here in the first half. Throw to the end zone. It's going to be knocked away. Nice hit that time by big play Slay. And now that brings it to an eventual third and goal. Russell Wilson throws. It's going to be picked off. Rich Patton, and he's going to take this one all the way to the house. You're not catching Rich Patton in open field. He's got 88 speed as a linebacker. That's a touchdown. And here we go. We take the lead here in the second quarter as now Seattle has a chance once again to possibly put some points on the board before halftime, and they will get the touchdown. DJ Metcalf, he, DK Metcalf, what am I saying? as he gets in towards the end of the second quarter. So now we move this one on to the second half. Here is Etienne to start the fourth quarter. It's still knotted up at 14, 
and he does break the tie, getting it to a seven-point lead here as Russell Wilson comes back out onto the field. Handoff this time, and that's going to be about a nine-yard carry that time by their third-year running back, James, and he will pick up a couple yards, getting it to a third and three. Throw across the middle, that's going to be caught. And it's a first down here as Russell Wilson, can he lead yet another fourth quarter comeback? And he's led a ton of them he in real it. life. Here's a throw across the middle, and it's picked off. Tracy Walker with the interception, his first of the season. And man, has he been an unsung hero of this defense. So Seattle ends up tying this game up once again. So here we go. Galladay inside of four minutes. We get it inside the five-yard line. Here's a handoff this time. Kennedy Brooks, and he's tackled in the backfield as the run defense of the CPU is really, really good on the, on the goal line. It's, I think it's defending the pass where they struggle. So second and goal this time from the five. This time Fields is swallowed up, and it's Willis. He goes in unblocked, and now it's third and goal from the 18-yard line. Here's a throw across the middle. That time it's Keon Knight. He holds on to it. Gives it to the six, and we will kick the field goal, and that will give us the three-point lead as Seattle did burn a timeout there, but now they have a minute left here to possibly win the game and give us our third loss here in this episode. So here's Russell Wilson. Does he have some magic left in him at his own 37? Second and 10 this time. Three wide receivers out there and a tight end this time. Trying to buy some time, and it's going to be stripped. And that is coughed up and picked up by Trey Flowers. That is Bryant Ryan, the second year end. And wow, what a strip sack. And what a clutch play by our second year guy. I predicted him to lead our team in sacks right now. Trace, or uh, uh, I can't even think of his name right now. But our defensive ends are good, man. They're really, really good. And Seattle, I mean, that was close. We got the win. We do get one in this episode. We moved to two and two. And I'm proud of this offense. I got to admit, I'm proud of this offense for bouncing back strong after two bad games, it seemed like. And we got the victory. So I'm not really mad about that. We had three interceptions as well. So... In the next episode, we actually have another opportunity for Keon Knight to get an upgrade trade. That has never happened before for me. Two in one season for one player. So this is interesting. If we get this upgrade, he's going to be superstar. And who knows if he could get a third. I don't, I've never seen that before. But next episode, versus the Minnesota Vikings again, he will have an opportunity to get that upgrade. So hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope. Hey, it don't even matter.